My name's Tim Moore with Furuno USA, and today we're out here working with Furuno's TZT Series MFD. And one of the features I wanted to tell you about is the free weather software. One of the features I'm actually working with today that works on both Furuno's Navnet TZ Touch and TZ Touch 2 is the free weather software. It's actually a very great thing to use, provides you with a lot of useful information, and the coolest part about it is it's very easy to set up. And also, if I didn't mention it, it's free. So, how easy is it to set up to use this weather software? Simple. You can either use Wi-Fi at your marina, Wi-Fi at your house, or, like us right now, we're actually out in the middle of the water. So, what's the simplest way? The hotspot on your phone. Very easy to connect to your Furuno TZT or TZT2, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now that we've talked about the weather software, I want to show you how to set it up. We'll start by pressing the home button, and we'll go into the menu. Because what we have to do now is connect, in this case, the Furuno TZT14 to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go down here and select wireless settings. And now we're looking for a phone because we're out on the water. So right now we see iPhone J, which is our local cell phone, and we're going to connect to it. It's got a password, so we just have to enter the password. We can touch on the line and you'll see a little keyboard will pop up. We'll go ahead and type in the password and then click OK once we got the password in. And now it should connect to our phone. I will just mention the first time you do this, it does take a few seconds, but after that, it can actually connect to your phone automatically. All right, as we see, we're connecting to the phone now. And once I see that it's completed, I'll back out of the screen. Now that we're connected to our phone and its hotspot, we're going to move to the next step. We're going to scroll down here to our weather tab. Now this is interesting because this is where we get to set up what we want to see. As you see, as a default, we're set to nav center. And right now we're looking at a United States forecast. And just by default, we're set up to look at four forecast days. So I'm going to leave it there for now. But we also get to pick what we'd like to see. What I usually like to see when I'm setting my unit up is wind, waves, rain or snow, hopefully there's not any snow, and air temperature. One of the other things I'd like to mention is there's good information for offshore fishermen. As you see, as we look to the bottom, we can actually check out ocean currents, sea surface temperatures, and even plankton. So if that's something you're interested in, you can just turn it on in the settings, and from that point forward, it'll pick it up every time we download the latest weather data. Now that that's finished, we're going to back out of this screen and actually go to the weather page. As you see right now, we're sitting on a GPS plotter page. So what I want to do is I want to switch to the weather page. So once again, I'll just press the home button. And this is our weather page. I'll just tap it. And now the weather page will come up. One of the things I want to tell you guys about this weather is that it will download weather for the area you're actually looking at on the screen. So right now we're zoomed out to 263 miles, which is perfect because that'll give us a larger area of weather we're going to download. If you wanted to get a little bit more to see what's going on, we'll just zoom out a little bit further. And right now you can touch the screen anywhere and we'll just click on get latest weather. We'll just press the knob in and highlight it. As you see right now, it's starting to download the weather for our area. And this takes just a few seconds. It's actually very quick. Now we have all of our data for this area. And as you see, we actually have our little wind vanes on the screen. So for instance, let's just touch anywhere out here at Hudson Canyon off the Atlantic City coast. And as you see, just by touching that area, we can see what direction the wind's going. 338 degrees magnetic and it's blowing at approximately 20 knots because we had a tropical storm just past yesterday. And we'll zoom into where we are now. And we're actually having a pretty calm weather day in our area. Uh, as you see, most of the action is off the coast. But should there be rain or anything like that, we would actually be seeing it here on this weather screen. One of the neat things about the weather feature is its animation. As you remember, when we set up in the menu, we wanted to see four forecast days. So we actually have four days worth of weather information downloaded to the unit right now. All we have to do to see the weather animation take place is press the play button in the lower left hand corner. What you see happening now is it's scrolling across the bottom and you'll see changes to the wind direction and anything else that might be on the page. Should we, we don't have any rain in our area today, but if we did have rain, it would be moving across the screen as well as the weather animates. So now that we've seen how easy it is to set up the weather updates, just remember, if you have Wi-Fi at your house, Wi-Fi at your marina, a cell phone on board, 
All you have to do is connect it up just like we have shown, and you can download free weather updates anywhere in the world anytime you need them.